What is an awkward, funny moment you've had? This is one that came to my mind, one of many I can assure you. I had just moved to New Zealand, and the only English I knew when I landed was a phrase a flight attendant had taught me. At the point of this story I had managed to learn enough English to keep a basic conversation, and was not as of yet aware of the full vocabulary of the English language. On this particular day, our school had organized a marathon, so me and the friends I had made started off on the run, and were doing pretty well. All of a sudden, I notice another kid up in front of me. He is pushing other kids during the run, attempting to trip them, and being an all-round bully. Later, I found out he was known as the school bully and had been close to being suspended from school many times. But at this moment, I was thinking, well, this is unacceptable. So I decided to run up to him and have a word with him, not letting my limited English stop me. So I asked my friend for his name. My friend is a bit of a class clown. So he tell me the guy's name is cunt. I didn't have the slightest clue of what the word meant. So I run up to the guy, shouting at the top of my lungs, Hey cunt, come here. The guy's eyes widen. What did you call me? I think nothing of his reaction. Cunt, that's you, no. The guy was speechless. He had never been challenged like this. But of course I have no clue I'm challenging him. Don't be mean cunt talk. At this point he gets all flustered and a small fight ensues. I am of course totally surprised at his reaction until I look back at my friend who is laughing hysterically. Once I found out what the word meant I felt really embarrassed. The guy had it out for me the rest of the time he attended the school, but he got suspended eventually. Moral of the story, learn your language as well people. I had an appointment with my regular doc to get the body checked out. While the nurse was checking my blood pressure, I thought to myself, I ought to ask this brought out for a night of drinks and dancing. Then I farted unexpectedly. Of course I acted as if nothing happened, and so did she, but it wasn't the kind of natural gas that slips out like a new moon in the nighttime sky. It was the kind that makes a guy blush. It was the slow sound of thunder rippling down in the valley below. My thoughts fumbled around in my head and all I could do was ask her for a cup of water. She said she'd get me one and left the room. I sat there thinking about how awkward the whole thing had been. Then my doc came in and shut the door. We went through the usual questions and follow-up routine. I had an issue with my left eye, so he moved in to take a close look, bumped my shoulder, and we both farted at the same time. To make matters worse, the nurse walked in with my cup of water right when the magic happened. The whole thing overwhelmed me and both the doc and I looked at each other. We broke into a slow laugh that fell apart into some pretty uproarious chuckles. The nurse put the water down, covered her mouth to try not to laugh, and left the room. That's when my doc turned his rear toward the door and said, Keep the change, you filthy animal, then proceeded to rip one so loud. I thought it was a building collapsing. I should mention my doc, and I are pretty good friends outside the doc patient setting. He's normally not so unprofessional, at least not at work. I never did ask that nurse out for a date. I used to come early to my classes every morning during school days. To pass the time, I would sing my heart out in my horrible deafening voice. One fine morning, I didn't notice this one kid who was sleeping at the back and started rapping like Matty B until I heard someone laughing his ass off from the back. Needless to say, I never sang again. One of the best examples that comes to mind is one time I was having dinner with my brother and my parents. Something with potatoes. I was chewing on potatoes when my brother mentioned something funny that had happened. I laughed so hard half-chewed potato flew into his face. His expression was so great. He looked so bitter and displeased. I always laugh when I think about it. Once while riding a bus to work a co-worker got on a few stops after myself. Shortly thereafter, a big lady, and I mean over 250 elves, got off at her stop. My co-worker and myself were watching as she slipped on some ice 
and went airborne ultimately landing on her back and hitting her head. My co-worker points and says something like look at that fat, dumb bitch at the top of his lungs. Most of the people on the crowded bus seen it anyways, those that hadn't definitely seen the aftermath. I felt bad for the lady, I'm sure it hurt, and it was an awfully cold day to fall down on pavement. If I knew she wasn't hurt I would have been laughing as well, but I would never have pointed it out like that myself. Anyways, about 15 minutes later we get off at our stop and start our 10 minute walk to work. I am a few feet in front of my coworker when I hear a swoosh sound and then a massive thud. Sure enough he slipped on a patch of ice and landed flat on his back knocking the wind out of him. I laughed in his face right then, told everyone at work the whole story all day and laughed about it all day. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.